Where do you actually find a Pikachu? Like, seriously. Alright, so, hello everyone, welcome to the nation, and, uh, for the past couple days, I've been trying to get DLC, uh, Descent, DLC, DLC 3, whatever, Black Ops 3, DLC 3. It just now installed! It's been sitting there for, like, ever. Like, I started the day it came out, right? And it got about maybe that far. Then I got back on the next day, halfway, next day, did that. Maybe it was because I was playing GTA and not Black Ops 3. But it actually finally downloaded after that long. So I'm going to hop into a Descent game. And we'll see ya. Alright, we're playing Domination. I feel like you're just going to get stomped by parties. If you're playing solo, you expect to get stomped by parties. I've been in for what, three minutes? Not even that. And already, already, I'm already accepting the fact that I'm getting stomped by people in groups. This is why my KD is where it is. I'm really wondering how people are actually so good with the PO6. Ugh. Okay, moral of the story. Don't go into a brand new DLC without a party. Right now, that's what I'm doing because I have to do that to get a commentary. I love Raid and I love Empire so far. I know I was getting stomped by people and parties, so I'm not worried about that, but... Oh, I want to try another map. So, apparently nobody likes Cryogen because... Oh, maybe it's kill confirmed that nobody likes. Yeah, I'm going to go with that too. I have Blackjack ready. Screw it, I'm gonna use blackjack. I haven't used blackjack in a video yet, so uh I'm gonna go gambler. Awesome. We're gonna use blackjack on the new DLC maps. Cause I haven't done that yet for you guys. I've been meaning to, but I haven't because bad circumstances. Now we're playing a hard point on Rumble. And I like hard point. Alright, we're gonna have those people now. Although this map does look pretty cool. This map looks pretty freaking awesome, if I do say so myself. Freaking people and their parties and their people that are working together and the PO6 is driving me insane. Like, I hear that sound and it just instantly makes my me bad. Like, I hear that PO6 shoot and I'm bad at Call of Duty. Oh, I heat waved. Oh! I didn't know there were guys right here. I didn't. Okay. I just kind of instinctively clicked. I guess I was lucky that I heat waved at that time. I want my sparrow back. Alright, guys, I'm going to say out on the blackjack, out of uh, Rogue and Gambler. I like Gambler more because it gives you more of a chance to try out the specialist abilities. I don't really like using a specialist just for its ability, so that's why I like Gambler. That makes me happy. That do, that ruins my day right there. Those are the things that ruin my day. That, those. Uh, uh, uh. I, I'm not going to lie. I never actually used glitch. Well, at least I'm going positive now. I mean, I guess that's a good thing. Dang. I was going to get a two-piece. You know, maybe if I was actually, like, good at Call of Duty, I would have gotten one. Aw, oh, come on. Why couldn't I get a quad? A good triple. Split triple. This is a good map for hardpoint, in my opinion. I've had two minutes in the hardpoint in this game. I was really expecting to be my KD to be lower than this, but I'm actually glad it's not, you know? Well, guys... That was two of the maps in Descent DLC on Black Ops 3. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure you leave a like. Uh, comment down below what you think of the maps in, uh, in Descent DLC. Make sure you subscribe, join the nation, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.